Hey plant lover, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, make sure you add this channel to your subscription list right away. We have a lot of fun around here and it would be great of you to join in. Well, as they say, proof of pudding is in the eating. So sit back and enjoy your meal. Here we go. As I can see, we are all set. Let's begin. Crafting cacti is a straightforward method of propagation, which even a novice gardener can try. Broadly, cacti that do not produce offsets can be propagated by grafting, as long as there is a compatible rootstock. Now you might ask, what is a rootstock? Well, let me tell you what cyan is and then we come to rootstock. The grafted part, which you got from another plant, the top part of it is called cyan. And the base or rooted part is called the rootstock. The plant which will form the base of this newly grafted plant is called the rootstock. And I don't need to mention it, but I'm still mentioning it. Use very clean, sterile instruments when making these cuts. Choose a healthy plant and prepare sign. Cut off the top part or at least an inch, which is about 2.5 centimeter stem. Then prepare the rootstock by beheading a cactus to within a few inches of the soil. Set the sign on the top of the cut portion of the still rooted rootstock so both vascular cambium are situated together. That's the trick. You got to make sure both the vascular cambiums of both the buds are joined together. Then only your grafting would be successful. You can use rubber bands to hold the pieces joined as one or you can even use electrical tape. Grafted cactus care is the same as ungrafted cactus. But you got to watch out for any insects at the union or rot. In about two months, you can remove the rubber bands or the tape and the union should be sealed. That's when you can be sure that your grafting is successful. Now you might be wondering why we need to go through this this charade of things wherein we kind of bring in one cactus and then we put it on top of another one. Why go through all this pain? Well, let me tell you why we do it and why you need to do it. As we are doing cacti right now, I'll deal with cacti only. The reason cactus plants are grafted could be a variety of reasons. One may simply be to produce a different species mechanically, but the process also produces disease-free stems, which is a great thing. To provide a new stem for an existing stem that is rotting or to enhance photosynthesis in plants that lack the ability. So grafting cactus plants is also done to create unique forms such as weeping plants. Should Google that. And grafting is common in fruiting plants because it increases the maturity of existing cultivar for earlier fruit production. The cyan becomes the top part of the plant with all originating species characteristics. The rootstock becomes the root and base of the plant. The union is at the vascular cambium where the wounds of cyan and rootstock are sealed together to heal and join. Makes sense? So why don't you try 
and graft some cacti yourself. If you need any help, I'm here. You, all you got to do is post a comment, post your question and definitely you'll receive an answer within a couple of days. All right, so get some cacti because if you're learning how to graft, no better plant than cacti. So get a couple of cactuses uh, or cacti which you think can be crafted and then try it on them all right i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit that like button and yes don't forget to subscribe as i mentioned in the beginning we kind of have fun around it all right so yes why don't you join why don't you become a part of it all right i look forward to your support thank you very much you have a good day Thank you.